Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I am going to do a quick unboxing and then also show you my Lillian order um, that finally came in. It's an order for 2023. Um, but this just came in too and I am excited to jump into it because for once I actually don't know what is in the Goddess Divisions box. So, oh, well, there's a fluorite. <laughs> so this uh, fluorite stone right here just jumped out. It's a nice little chevron pattern to it. That's cool. So there's that. We have, ooh, this is so dope. <laughs> An air freshener, the vanilla scent, it's plain, it's whatever, but it's the star card. So that's so cool. And even like when these run out anyway, um, you can just keep them. And if you want, you can uh, drop some like essential oils on them and they work just the same. So, instead of keep buying them, unless you have a scent that you particularly like. But we all kind of have the essential oils that we like too, so. Let's see what we have in here. What is this? Clairvoyance Mist, The Star by October Occult. It has rose quartz crystal infused full moon water. Um, neroli, I think that's how you say it. I'm not sure. Orange blossom, jasmine flowers, and sandalwood. Some little amber plastic bottle. You know what? I'm going to spray it because I've learned that if you just, like with these sprays. Ooh, that smells really good. That smells really, really good. I'm definitely going to be using that. That's nice. <laughs> oh, there's a tea in here. Um, Holy Santo. Um, the tea. I like that. I like when tarot cards are like teas and cats and stuff. I have I have a lot of that little stickers like that. Um, tarot fruit blend. Well, that's good because I am picky about my tea and I don't really like anything that's too like earthy. So... I've really been trying to find a tea that I actually like consistently. <laughs> um, get a free ebook of the major 22 uh, of the 22 major arcana. That's cool. Um, let's see if it says it says lemon peels, orange peels, rose hips, and hibiscus flower. Huh, that should be interesting. If you hear the paper in the background, it is my annoying kitchen that likes to get into everything. So he got the paper from one of these boxes, from the Lillian box. Oh my gosh, I am excited about this, but I'm going to hold off, I'll do it last. Oh, it's a sticker. <laughs> it is a holographic sticker of the Hermit. I don't know anything about the Hermit. I am not um, good with traditional tarot. I don't really do traditional tarot. Um, all of my tarot is more just like new age and or like twisted so like instead of I don't know cups it would be shells stuff like that um, I do want to learn traditional eventually I just haven't really dived into it yet I kind of dive into too much at once and then I just find myself absorbing nothing <laughs> so I'm trying to take a step back oh cool we actually got one of their um their packs. So they do this on um, build your own deck packs that they were releasing in some of their um, boxes when they first started doing it. So this is series two, Oracle Trading Cards. Our typical energy support my evolutional evolution. Okay. So this is Goddess Provisions custom like trading cards. And once you collect like the whole set, then you have like a whole tarot deck. Or, in this case, Oracle deck. Ooh, the background's really pretty. This is a lot, though. This is 22 cards. This is already a... I mean, some freaking small Oracle decks already have this many. So this is the back. It's a nice little gold. It's not, um like, shiny. It's just regular printed gold. Ooh, Red Riding Hood. There's been a version of this um, Red Riding Hood song that I've been, like, loving lately. So it's kind of funny. So, oh my gosh, that's really pretty too. High Priestess. 
These are really pretty art. And I believe this is the artist down here, I'm assuming. I like the lover's card, especially when I like this, like the mirrored images. Um, because it just reminds me of Gemini, honestly. So. I like that. Ooh. That's really, really pretty. That's probably one of my favorites right there. I'll keep that to the side and see. Got Vampire. Another one. I like that. These are really, really beautiful. Okay. I was like, wait, have I gone through them all yet? <laughs> yeah, so I would say the hangman is definitely my favorite hanged woman hang people hang person whatever it would be hanged hanged doesn't even sound right either I don't know but so there's that those are really really cool I really hope I get to collect the whole set is this moving I feel like you're moving I don't think so my setup is very wonky today because I wasn't, I wanted to get into this so bad that I didn't take out the tripod and all of that, so. I just got right down into it. This looks like a little tarot box. And I am intrigued and excited. I don't know if you can see the print. I like that you kind of can. It has pentacles, tea, some like shooting stars or wands. That's a wand, daggers. Yeah, it is so, so pretty. It's magnetic. <gasps> Ask and you shall receive and a gold foil. And there's that. And then you just put your cards in there. That is so cool. I have to like, if I start like collecting all of these, I'll probably just put these in here because I do like to just keep the um, boxes that my decks come with. And then, Oh, what is this? Oh, that's really pretty. It's like a little um, altar cloth or tarot cloth with daggers and pentacles, um, cup and wands. So yeah, good like little tarot cloth. So it really is like tiny, it's like twice the box. So it would be good just to set up a quick little altar or actually this would be really cool for a traveling altar. So if you do that little setup, you can even use like a little box like this if you don't have like big stuff. Um, and then just put in what you need for wherever you're going. Um, if you do an offering though and stuff, make sure that it is like biodegradable, like whatever you offer or leave, make sure that like, you know, it actually will be absorbed back into the earth. Basically don't leave anything that isn't from the earth. So, <laughs> like if you burn incense, the ashes is okay. You can burn the herbs or you can just leave the herbs, but stuff like that. So here is the card, which is on the bottom this time, which is kind of weird, but asking you shall receive um, the treasures in tarot. So here's a list of everything that was on there. And I'm going to write these down and they're, um, values in the description so if you want to take a look at that there's their little thing on it and some divine details they also have the um, moon wisdom club if you're interested in that they have some really interesting like details and uh, rituals um for the club each month or for the moon each month um and yeah and then you can also i will also um leave a link below for their um if you want to sign up for their subscription box so and this box is based in the u.s so it is really nice it is from arizona according to the box and it is 33 dollars a month so out of all the boxes you get quite a lot of stuff quite a lot of nice stuff and it is very very like reasonable in price i'm gonna go ahead and Lay this down since I have it and do a quick haul or just show you the um pre-order books that just came in for 2023 from Lillian's so obviously in the back I have the witch's calendar 
Um, I've this is my first one actually purchasing it. I normally always just look at it at Barnes and Noble or Books a Million, but I never actually buy it. But I did have a discount with them, so I ended up pre-ordering all of the um 2023 books and stuff that they have. Some of these I do like get on the regular. Um there's like three of them actually <laughs> that I normally get, like this one, the magical almanac. I really do love this one. Um this one has a turtle on the front, it's very cute. Um it's it's cute that it's actually not a mythical, mystical, mythical one of those <laughs> animals. Um and then it just has all these like little stories and stuff in it, and there is the calendar in the middle that sometimes I reference if I want a quick, if I have one nearby and I want a quick um, details on like the moon um, or like what incense goes best with it. But for most of these, I do the little stories inside because they're what really, I don't know, they're just beautiful. And I have these books even from like back from like 20, God, I want to say like 20, 17 I think and I still reference it for certain things like I have like little post-it notes going out of it but then again that's most of my books so this is another one that I like to get um every year I don't I skipped the last couple of years um I did reference my friends a couple times or we would flip through and do one of them together um but it is an easy way of like Whenever you have like, you know, you want to do a ritual or a divination or some kind of like even quick spell um, for the day and do like get your practice in. This is a very easy like go to book, especially if you don't know what you want to do for that day <laughs> or like what corresponds because it tells you everything. So it tells you where the moon is, um, the color of the day, the instance of the day. And then here you have like your little spell and then phrase and then it goes on. Oh, it doesn't go on to the other side. So I think you just burn it is what it said at the end. Yeah, you burn the paper. And then normally, like, um, for burnt paper, like, spells, I either bury it or release it to the wind, depending if it's, like, a travel spell or if it's a, like, banishing and if it's banishing, you definitely don't want to bury it on your property. You kind of want to go somewhere else, you know? Like, I'm by the beach and a couple, like, little foresty areas. So I'll just go out there. Don't bury it in your neighbor's yard. I mean, unless you have issues with your neighbors. I'm not telling you to bury it in your neighbor's yard by any means. You know what I'm saying? Wink, wink. Um, anyway, the Sabbath's Almanac is another one. I have been <laughs> religiously trying, but also failing to really get my sabbaths down um and my witchy holidays i just uh it's like it's like everything in society goes against it right so you know it's like all this pressure of keeping up with all the regular you know society holidays and the christian holidays and going through all of that with like your family your friends but then like you also want to do your religion and what you believe in and celebrate the earth and you know, it's just like, it's it starts to kind of be a little too much, especially when you're doing like two different things. Um, but this book is very awesome because it has like a bunch of different things to do for each Sabbath. So the first one is um, Samhain. And then it also has a lot of references, but I mean, oh, and there's even some blank note pages. I forgot about that. So if you want to put in like your outcomes, how it turned or your own like little twists on things or recipes um but yeah like it has crafts it has foods it has like um history so it's a very very good book and it's really nice to keep learning because like even though these new ones come out it's, it's still really nice to kind of learn something new um and each one you actually will like you might think oh this is the same thing i mean it might be something that you've already researched on your own but comparing it to their last year's books it's not really like repeating too much or it's not the same treats because like just get a couple so now one of my favorites <laughs> 
is The Witchy Companion, or The Witch's Companion. I read a lot, but I obviously cannot read, so that's great. Um, <laughs> I read a lot, but I can't talk. So I like the cover of it. The cover of it is honestly pretty much always kind of relatively the same. They always do like a green foresty kind of thing. Um, this one is like a treehouse theme. Um, and then they have prosperity magic, full moon altar, um, building confidence, grounding anxiety, a magical self renewal, um, black magic and why we need it, creating your book of shadows, making the Monday magical which you fitness that's cool and flower magic so that's cool I love 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 the stories and references in here this book I don't know I like like I constantly like to even go back and reread some of the stories that they have and then like like here's like witchy workouts and then it will and of course it tells you to keep a journal like why not if you're a witchy book and the book shadows like you already know you're keeping journals so why not have a fitness journal too so it tells you kind of what to write in there it has some workouts some chants to be in there which is kind of cool too because if you can chant then you know that you can um oh my god tux that you can that you're breathing properly um has some like stones that goes with it I mean this is so cool a weight loss spell you know what I mean like <laughs> um yeah it's really cool some self-care stuff so this book is just it's amazing and I actually have one um by my bedside <laughs> that I if I'm just not feeling whatever I'm reading right now I will just look through that one or one of the stories or maybe mark some of the new references in there or something that I'm interested in digging up or looking into. And then last but not least, new to me is the um, Herbal Almanac. I always flip through this one, but I've never committed to buying it. But lately I have been more green witchy. So I definitely wanted to go through this. I have been trying to kind of keep or I've been wanting to have like a little garden on my patio, but every time I have some flowers or plants growing, I just, I either over love them to death or under love them to death. Either way they die, but <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to do some more, but I definitely like, um, how this one has like these little quick references instead of going into you know such detail or where like it's not all in one spot so you have to like dig and dig through like your books and references or and I don't really trust the first thing that pops up on Google you know what I mean like these authors they know what they're talking about they do their research um, so they're like a lot more kind of reliable than the first blog posts that Google pops up with um, but yeah I mean like here, this is a whole thing on rose. So like you got rose water, toner. So it gives you stuff that you can use with it. And then it has the quick references as you've seen earlier. Um, invasive species, native species, crowding. And then like, it just goes on and on and on. Victorian houseplants, summer houseplants goes through the seasons and what best ones. It has like, um, insects and stuff of course the bees yeah it is really really cool really pretty and i can't wait to kind of dig into this one i can't really talk too much more on it because i don't know about it um ooh, herbs for stir fries that's cool but it's really interesting to go into this and then I might even, like, if I am going through this or even the spell a day, I might post, like, little, um, tidbits or little, um, little things that I may be doing on my Instagram stories. Um, I am over there. It's Anabasis Angel also, same as my tag here. And same with my Etsy, which is still only has one product on it. More to come. But... 
Yeah, I'll probably post a little bit if I do anything or if I see anything that's really cool, I might just share it and do like a little quick like talk on it. But yeah, that's it for this video. Like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.